and now entering India. Jai Hind! Beautiful Kashmir! Juicy apples. Kashmir looks a lot safer now. Oh look, there's the capital of the country, Delhi. Now we are entering Evergreen Punjab. Buddy, stop dancing on me! Buddy, here we come to the commercial capital of India. Chatrapati Sivaji. Aishwarya Rai. Buddy. Here comes Malavadu Andhra. Smell spicy. Kungra. Buddy, get ready to party. Because we are in Bengal. Buddy, stop dancing. This is no place for a massage. Oh, oh. Ida and Kerala, buddy. God's own country. Buddy. Now we come to one of the most ancient civilizations in the world. Tamil Nadu. Time for a landing, buddy. Hala. Mm-hmm. Hala, buddy. Mm-hmm. Namak. Hey, 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 I think I've read this in English. Mr. Brooker, you are doing something with your legs. I'm unable to. Huh? You didn't give me a shirt? Hmm. And I'm gonna get it this time. Can we get down to business comfort? We're gonna talk about the great mythology the Ram Sethu Bridge. Let's get started with our main story now. Buddy, take notes of everything I'm gonna say. Hmm. An Indian bridge from mythology could soon be verified as real by scientists. In Hindu belief, the Vedas, Bhagavad Gita, the Holy Scriptures are all real anyway. NASA's aerial view of the Ram Sethu Bridge is what started this whole investigation. In Valmiki's epic poem Ramayana, there are curious specific descriptions of how it was constructed, made, and so on. This bridge begins Tamil Nadu, Nameswarma, and ends in Sri Lanka's Namnara. Our story begins thousands of years ago when Lord Rama asked Sugriva, the king of the humanoid monkeys, to assist in constructing the bridge that would help Lord Rama go save Sita from Ravana. Now Sugriva, according to the Ramayana, summoned a vast army of humanoid monkeys from 10 distinct mountain ranges all over India. These ranges include Mahendra, Himalaya, Anjana and Mimi. Now these monkeys were a super strong species of apes and their numbers were unimaginably large. The unit of measurement recorded in the Ramayana is Yojana. Now, one Yojana is 13 kilometers. In the Ramayana, it says the Ram Sethu Bridge was 100 Yojanas long. That's 1300 kilometers. Now, hold your horses. I know what you're thinking. Let me clarify it for you. You see, also in some versions of the Ramayana, it is said that on the southernmost tip of India, this measurement is carried, which will bring us to a point that is in the ocean. So, you're probably wondering what was there? When you see 3D rendering of maps of that place, you see submerged mountains under the water, which could give the possibility that Ravana Lanka, not Sri Lanka, was real. It was purported to have a beautiful city on top. So, what if Ravana Lanka is the Atlantis that everyone's been searching for? That's a mystery for another episode. Ravana Lanka was just one of the controversies associated with Ram Sethu. Bridge. For the sake of simplicity, 
Let us just stick to the one that connects Tamil Nadu and Sri Lanka. Oceanographic studies have carbon dated Ram Setu Bridge to 7,000 years ago. The Ramayana poem was also said to have been written around that same time. The Ram Setu Bridge remains submerged. What's truly interesting is the Vanarakutta monkeys that helped construct this bridge use large stones and logs in layers from the ocean bed to the surface of the water, according to Valmiki's Ramayana. This bridge was strong enough to carry an entire army of humanoid monkeys across from Rameswaram to Manar. Each of the stones was etched with the name of Lord Ram. Ram Setu Bridge is going to undergo two special underwater archaeology tests. They are Side Scan Sonar and Silo Seismic Survey. Now, Side Scan Sonar is going to send gentle sound waves to create a 3D image of the physical structure of the bridge. And the Silo Seismic Survey test is going to send gentle shock waves at shallow depths, and all the reflected and refracted signals are going to help create an image of the deeper layers of the bridge. India is surrounded by three oceans. So there is enough reason for the government to invest in more underwater archaeology projects like Ramsey. Ramsey is just one, a very sacred one at that. Now, imagine all the wonderful things we can discover in the future about India, its mythology, and its grand history, even its prehistory. Great Lord Ram could have easily flown over to Lanka by himself and single-handedly rescued his beloved wife Sita. But he inspired billions of living beings to unite under his banner and uphold his principles of love and justice. This is one of many reasons why the great Lord Ram has millions of devotees and worshippers in India and abroad. Jai Shri Ram!